Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Cancer for the week of September 13th. No, what's going on September 13th? Oh my gosh, September 11th, 2023. I'm sorry I wasn't be being able to go on the live tonight because Spectrum is doing stuff and they're going to do stuff tomorrow too. So I don't know if I'm going to do daily horoscopes, which is fine. I'll just catch up on everything else going on. So show your love and support to your girl Marie. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for everyone who has. If you would like a reading with me, check out my link in the description box below. So Palace is in Virgo um, for the minute and it's helping you form a kite energy with Neptune in retrograde with the 9th, 11th, and 3rd and 7th house. A creative time for thinkers who could, you can be more apt with your words. You can be wise, tactful, communicator, and you will probably also um, have a writing talent or find yourself writing a lot more, journaling a lot more than usual just because you want to, or writing poems. You can find you're very inspired this week. Um, this is updating yourself with the latest and greatest in technology, taking classes when it comes to career growth, or you could be taking writing classes, or you could be going back to school with this energy. This could be um, continuing growth when it comes to your career or continuing furthering your education because you want to. A great time for those of you in media and social media, a great time for bloggers, a great time for problem solving, helping out others or teaching or training other people. A great time for teachers. You're informative, full of information, and you can be the know-it-all at work, but not the know-it-all in the bad way, okay? Others could be relying more on you on how to do things or coming to you for expert advice. Mars in your fourth house is not well aspected like last week, so you're dealing with the same energies. You're butting heads with your partner, or you're not getting along with the men in your life, or the focus on father and father side of the family, or the or your male partner that you live with, um, and the focus can just be on them they could be going through it at this time and just dealing with like god forbid health issues god forbid they're dealing with their own situations at this time so you could be more about them for others of you you may not be getting along with them they could also be going through their own crisis situations at this time on the 12th not the best time to take risk with your money or to deal with get rich quick schemes because you're throwing your money away for some of you you need to watch your emotional self insecurities are being triggered and you can be dealing with your fears of abandonment issues that are coming up and you need to deal with them you can become possessive of your friendships or loved ones for some of you you can be upset with other people someone could be driving you crazy literally and telling you what you saw and heard don't believe it and you know and it could be literally and it's going to drive you a little bit like batty okay so i would be careful all right because somebody's trying to create a different narrative in your mind and trying to create a different truth or somebody is really not respecting your boundaries and what you say at this time and you know it can cause problems you can be dealing with a leo or a gemini with this energy or a person with addic addiction issues or alcoholism um trying to create a different narrative in your head and trying to make you crazy i would be careful where you put things today like your cell phone or glasses can come up missing and you could be freaking the hell out on the 13th if you work for the good of the whole you'll likely succeed in your efforts but you're only concerned with promoting your own beliefs in order to gain power which won't work you'll encounter difficulties with strong oppositions when you do this you have an opportunity to enrich the lives of others which will benefit you in the process you're ready to open to new level of understanding of the world around you and you may pursue an intense educational project travel is also very likely especially to foreign travel or visiting places you've never been before which will also broaden your perspective on how other people experience life everything you attempt during this time will demand your total concentration and if you keep an open mind you'll learn valuable lessons about correct a use of power this is a good time to move your home life is probably not peaceful now it is a good time to make decisions that affect your personal life a time that is favorable for learning and education everyday events seem to show you a deeper meaning of life on the 14th the new moon in Virgo at 9.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the next two days in your third house of communications. Um, busy time period for you. Busy with business, work. You can have a meltdown as things are overwhelming for you and moving very fast. Um, 
with school or work, trying to meet deadlines, new moon energy for the next two days. Um, on the first day is forming a kite energy with your ninth house. The, the focus is more towards your social life and planning trips or weekend getaways with friends or you could find yourself more out and about with your friends or you can be in communications with them. It's a good time to break bad habits. You should get along better with siblings. Relatives and siblings can be demanding on you emotionally at this time um, and putting and imposing on you your your um, you may want to be careful at this time playing the emotional manipulative games here because I feel like for some of you here it could be a situation with the phone or the text messages especially with love relationships um, and their silence speaks volume to you at this time or there's you know like they're switching up like their times when they call you and stuff like that with this energy but at the same time don't start getting weird on the phone you know how y'all do Okay, um, don't go testing the relationship. Don't start giving them ultimatums. Okay, because you're going to be crying to me by, by Friday. All right, because you guys, you know, it's the phone thing. Mercury's in retrograde at this time. I really wouldn't wor worry about it if they don't call you when they say that they're going to call you. Okay, because they could be like on the road, stuck in traffic or running late for something, okay? Or arguing with other people. So I really wouldn't worry about it. On September 15th, 8.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Ceres enters Scorpio. On the 15th, 4.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mercury goes direct. It'll be officially direct on the 28th. It just means that we're going to still feel the effects of Mercury with this energy. So this is a great time. Not the best time to mingle if you're single, but you could do it. And, you know, yep. And then call for a reading, you know, to see what's going to go on. So on the 15th, Mercury goes back direct at this time into the sign of Virgo with Ceres and Scorpio in your fifth house with this energy here. So this is a very t busy time. You are prone to slights and missed opportunities. Your mental concentration is increased. There is more emphasis on attention to details in your communications with others. You may have problems communicating with relatives. Certain opportunities are coming up quickly and your desire to belong and to fit in with the crowd may also be working against your advancement as you get lost in the social connections rather than allowing yourself to grow and to mature um, at this time. Ceres moves into the fifth house in the sign of Scorpio, forming a kite energy with the Lilith moon in the second house. Careful with Jupiter. Um, those of you who have Jupiter and Scorpio, um, during this transit, there is a big auspicious time for you to become pregnant. You are learning here to create healthier boundaries with your with other people in your life. This is getting what you want when it comes to possessions or when it comes to money, which gives you a sense of stability. You can also feel in control of your situation or you can be taking back control over certain areas of your life. Okay, um, the Knight of Coins, and I'm available for readings. You can check it out in the link in the description box below. Um, the mind on the money and the money on the mind. So this could be money worries at this time. This could be thoughts of going back to school to create more stability in your life with this energy as well. For others of you, this could be even like reinventing yourself as well with this energy. For others of you, you could be going above and beyond for other people this week. Ooh, the ten of coins, not an emphasis on money at this time. So this could be also money worries coming up for some of you here with this energy, okay? But for others, of you there's an emphasis on money so this could also be money worries this could also be money coming in during this time period with this energy so your mind could be focused on money this week there is a reversal oh not a reversal of fortune expect the unexpected when it comes to money or when it comes to getting a job at this time or a raise or a promotion i feel like you could be pleasantly surprised this week with this energy as well okay um i feel like for some of you here this could be dealing with family fortune could be the focus this week with this energy. The um, king of coins, for some of you, this is business picking up at this time. More money coming in for you. So yeah, this could be a very beautiful time for your money situation to start to improve this week. And this could be through inheritance at this time. This could be business picking up. This could be dealing with father's side of the family here as well the eight of swords you can be going through it emotionally for some of you you could be controlled by um, family family could be controlling your inheritance here 
as well with this energy here or or family could be just like really calling the shots in order for you to have this money okay the nine of swords you can be going through it emotionally this can be depression happening for some of you here or for some of you you could be very much in your head about things you could be you know this could be going with the astrology at this time and dealing with a difficult relationship in your life all right the six of swords is a time of moving forward with this energy for some of you get the hell out of your damn head it's not the place to be definitely going through it emotionally feeling the fears and anxieties really talking to yourself give the brain something to do fearing the future at this time with this energy you could be worrying about money at this time with this energy as well um for some of you here you could have problems um completing mental tasks at this time with this energy so you could be making certain situations more complicated than they really are this week okay so be careful when doing that the five of coins have faith that everything is going to work itself out delve into prayer consciousness at this time um for some of you, you could be really going through some kind of hardship at this time with this energy or you think you're going through some kind of hardship at this time with this energy for some of you you're really thinking about going back to school to get a better paying job with this energy for others of you this could be thinking about getting a better paying job in the healthcare field okay the um or going back to get your ged at this time with this energy as well for some of you i feel for some of you here be careful with work you can get reprimanded this week with this energy um Hmm. This can be a busy week for you as well with the swords. Swords don't always have to be bad, okay? I feel for some of you here that people could be helping you out financially. For others of you, you could be volunteering your time and energy as well. Um, this week, I feel for, yeah, it's not the easiest energy. Um, the two of cups, for some of you, you could be very obsessed about somebody um, in your life with this energy and very cerebral about them, okay? Um, you have not approached this person. You could be crushing on this person. And, you know, you could just be very much in your head about this person, okay, to the point where it causes you depression, where it causes you to just, like, kind of freak out and stuff like that because nothing is happening at this time with this energy is what I'm seeing okay so know that alrighty um, but things can change because Mercury's going direct on Friday okay and we still got some planets transiting you know we're still waiting for Pluto to go direct next on the 27th okay so you know it can happen or maybe that's not the person all right for some of you this person could be married with this energy this could also be you um so th those of you who are married couples it could be focused on you at this time i do see somebody from your past returning with this energy it does not necessarily have to be a love relationship but somebody is coming back from your past during this time period okay the um eight of cups i feel like you're over certain situations you may be done waiting for this person you could be walking away from this person because this person could be married the nine of swords this the nine of coins the streets are talking i feel like for some of you this is a difficult conclusion that you're coming to at this time with this energy so you can be very much in your head about certain things that are out of your control or this could be a time of letting go of certain relationships and you could be just very scared of walking walking away with it because you don't want to give up hope about this relationship like you're still holding on to hope with this energy okay um so know that so i see that happening i do feel like for some of you here who are multilingual this is a very good energy time for you it could be very busy the ace of cups i see emotional validation happening i do see new love around you um with this energy coming in okay so date and get to know this person as well because mercury is still in retrograde um till the 28th even though it's going to be direct on friday but we still have this snail trail energy that we go through and we still feel the effects of this energy but there is new love around you um with this energy could it be the person that you're obsessing with probably not but you know what this is a great energy to get your mind off this person and just date somebody else with this energy because it helps you focus on something else i feel for some of you here you could be loving your job this week with this energy the strength card this is your hard work and perseverance paying off 
This is a time of creating your own reality with this energy as well and moving on from a situation. The Queen of Wands, I feel for some of you here that you benefit through words of mouth. This is growth happening for you with your media or social media. This is creating boundaries with other people. I see a new job coming along or another source of income happening here. You're happy on a financial level and an emotional level here. This is a raise or a promotion coming up for you with this energy or getting a job. The Queen of Coins, I feel for some of you here, you're definitely not getting along with certain people in your life at this time. Okay, with all these sword cards. And then I see more responsibilities and more money coming in for you. I feel for some of you, there's definitely a love interest coming into your life at this time. And you may have some kind of past life connection with this person or soulmate connection with this person as well. Okay, I feel like for some of you um, here that this could also be... Um, hmm. This could also be a strong relationship that's going to come in. So this could be a long-lasting relationship for some of you. I feel like this person could be a Gemini that you could be dealing with with this energy. Or, um, yeah, Gemini or Pisces. The Six of Cups, I feel like you can be sentimental about the past. I feel like this is overcoming certain obstacles in your life with this energy. Relocating to a place where you used to live. Or this could be a place where you used to work. You could be relocating back. Um, this could be a job transfer to a place where you used to work. This could be moving back to a place where you used to live with this energy here. I do feel like you have a strong, intense connection with somebody in your life. This could be somebody that you already know with this energy. The Empress card. I feel with this energy here that you benefit through the women in your life. You benefit through mother. For some of you, you could be moving in with mother or you could be moving in with sister with this energy i feel like for some of you here you need to be careful with your financial purchases you may be regretting your spending so be careful with your spending something you've been wanting for a very long time is coming to fruition you are more quiet into yourself at this time but when you speak other people listen okay so this is a great time for um i feel like for some of you here psychic advice Ooh, okay so for some of you you could be very in tune to another person's situation at this time with this energy and you could be calling the situation before it happens um i I feel like for others of you, you're worrying about the people around you at this time with this energy here. For some of you here, you need to follow your passions at this time because it's going to lead you to the money. Alrighty, so love what you do at this time. I do see smooth changes coming up for you with this energy. I do feel like you may not be very logical about certain things. You could be triggered this week by certain things. Again, you could be dealing with like money worries or certain things out of your control and not happening as fast as you would like them to happen. So it could be causing you like a lot of mental anguish with this energy. For others of you, this could be you like crushing on somebody and you may have to ask out this person or you may have to have a conversation, especially my straight men. You may have to approach this person because this person's not coming up to you. Okay, so you may have to like say, hey, I like you. Okay, and see what they say back. You may be surprised. They may they may reciprocate. Okay, so don't be so scared of love. I do see um, you learning to love yourself, moving forward in a relationship at this time. I feel like for some of you, you're probably trying to get a lot of information about this person before you move forward with this person, with this energy. Um, I definitely see you visiting a place where you used to grow up in. The Justice card dealing with court. I feel like for some of you, you're trying to man manipulate a situation in order to get your way in the situation. So this could be dealing with court at this time with this energy. Um, for others of you, this could be good news in court. I see victory happening with court this week for you as well. The full card brings about new beginnings i feel like you tend to go against the grain at this time and kind of do your own thing with this energy for some of you you could be coming up with get rich quick schemes at this time with this energy as well the knight of wands for some of you you could be having um you could be going on a trip with your partner and having like an adventure in love for some of you this could be marriage proposals coming up for others of you this could be flirting and flirting can turn into dating okay so this could be a serious relationship that one thing leads to another so i see monog monogamy coming up for you you. I feel for others of you here that this could be um, a surprise coming up for you. So again, expect the unexpected. You could be receiving an unexpected message for somebody that you do have a crush on for some of you. For others of you, I see fortune bubbling over. I see your partner financially supporting you while you go to school or stay at home at this time with this energy. So your partner could be very much about taking care of you at this time with this energy while you go pursue your goals or pursue school at this time. Alrighty. I love you, my crabs. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.